What is up, YouTubers? John's a here, and welcome back to the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Tournament. Now, in the last one, the Ice Climbers made it through once again, near the end of the series and the season. I mean, and made it into the final tournament. Luigi was so close, but yet so far. So yeah, they made it in, and now we are about to start the next tournament. So. Without further ado, and if any of these characters do enter again in this tournament, I will allow it because we are getting to the end. Not that many more characters to enter in, so even well, actually there are a lot, but you know, there'll be two special tournaments for later. But anyways, the first one entering is Olimar. It was so close to Greninja, but no, it was Olimar. So we have Olimar. Next up. We are going to have. We are going to have. Cloud. Okay, big boy here. Next up, we're going to have. Richter! Can Richter join his brother? Can Richter make it back into the final tournament like he did last season? I mean, he made it in, but that was like the first tournament, so we'll see if maybe he can still make it in. Anyways, next up for this tournament, it's going to be... Roy! Okay, a lot of characters I don't care about, to be honest. Alright, so anyways, moving on. Next character entering this tournament is going to be as I dab. You guys can see it, but I'm dabbing back and forth. It's going to be Incineroar. All right, finally someone I kind of want in. All right, next up, as I can, if I can spin the wheel, is going to be. Gonna be Bowser Jr. Okay, so Bowser Jr.'s in this one. Bowser Jr., you better hurry up, man. There's not many more spots left in this tournament. You gotta make it into the final tournament and join your dad in the champions bracket. Alright, next up. We have two more spots. Who will enter this tournament? We are going to have Falco. Okay, getting a bird in here, and then finally, last spot for this tournament is going to go to Little Mac. All right, so there we go. Next tournament underway and ready to go. These guys are playing Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, it seems like. So we're gonna shuffle around. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Alrighty, so the first round, we're gonna have Little Mac going up against Richter. Then we're gonna have Incineroar going against Olimar. Cloud going up against Falco, and Bowser Jr. facing Roy. So without further ado, let's get this tourney underway. Alrighty, so let's go. This is for the 20... Ninth spot of the final tournament. Let's see who gets it. So, we are starting off with Little Mac going up against Richter. Unfortunately, Richter's now been in a couple of these tournaments so far and still has yet made it back into the final tournament. Uh, well, let's see if maybe he can make it back in. I mean, he's definitely later than he did last season. And last season, he made it in with flying colors the first time. And now he brings in Spring Man, so, you know, he he's not playing around anymore. He's known everyone else is trained. Ready for action. Oh, and Lil Mac, bad recovery, and Lil Mac's now down to two stocks already. I'd get Flying Man if I were somebody. Again, Oshawott, the useless Pokemon, as always.
Oh, and then I think this is Richter's now. Richter just has flying man with him. You know, both of them have bad recoveries, but Richter's doing a good job recovering better. Oh yeah, this is this is just not good for uh, little Mac. Yeah, if anything, both of these characters do not have good recoveries. But little Mac did recover that surprisingly. Mm, that definitely not looking good for little Mac. It's basically a two-on-one right now. Little Mac down down to one stock. Oh, and Richter just three stocked a little Mac. No final smash is needed. This is done. And with that, Richter makes it into the next round. I'm sorry to say, little Mac, but not this tournament. We still only have a few tournaments left, so we might still have that chance, but who knows. Anyways, next up, we have Incineroar, going up against Olimar. Now, last time for Incineroar, he made it into the final tournament with Flying Colors, but so far this uh, season, he's not been doing so well. But Olimar has done a pretty good, decent job, I'd have to say. So, I don't know. Anything could still happen. I mean, already the first, the first couple hits go to Olimar. Trying to use that cross chop. Ooh. Olimar gets caught. <laughs> oh, Incineroar has the first assist trophy and it's zero. Olimar has to, like, chain chomp. Ooh. Oh, and chain chomp's just gone. Oh, everyone's safe. Incineroar's taking a look. At least the most damage right now, and it has Scizor as well. Olimar still around. Oh, geez, the Pikmin just grabbed the Pokeball for um. Guess that's also uh, one advantage Olimar has. He's grabbed with ease. Oh, and Abra's just out on field apparently. Ooh, Abra's definitely bad for Incineroar. Get in a bad place off screen and you're done for. And Olmar's the first to lose a stock. Uh oh. Right when he got final smash too, that is not good for Incineroar at all. Oh, and then this one's just automatic. Oh, damn. Is, gonna con Is he going to lose another stock right now? Oh, damn. Oh, and Incineroar having bad recovery. He's already done to his last stock. Oh, definitely not looking good for him. Incineroar, you better grab that assist trophy. You need the assist now than ever. Oh, and pay. Ah, oh, and it's. I think it's just game for Olimar. So we're having Final Smash, you better use it now. Or use it quickly, because if he gets grabbed by this call, it's game over. It's just game over. Incineroar could have used that at any time, but nope. He just decided to waste it. He had it three times before he died. And just didn't use it. With that, Olmar makes it into the next round. I'm sorry to say, Incineroar, you have to be faster on these things, man. Alrighty, so anyways, moving on to the next round. Our next match, we have Cloud going up against Falco. Let's see how this one goes. If anything, Cloud is very powerful. Two, one, go. I'm wait, did Cloud even make it in last season? I 
feel like he did. Cloud did make it in last season, so this is definitely not good for Falco. Falco didn't even make it in last time. Oh, damn. The Cloud is already the first to lose a stock. And we just have Snivy on field. Oh, my God. Ooh, I thought... Ooh, Blast Zone, Blast Zone. Cloud's already down to his final stock. I thought it was going to be bad for Falco, but no. It's more bad for, um... More... Oh, and... Cloud at least uses his final smash now. Cloud might still have a chance here. He's starting to get a bunch of these extra stuff. Pokeballs and assists. Oh, now Falco has it. He has Shovel Knight. This Final Smash hits, it might be game over for Cloud. Ooh, this could be it, everybody. Yep, and Falco moves on to the next round. He uses faster and grabs the... Uh, just grab them all faster. So sorry to say, Cloud, but you have not made it into the final tournament. At least not yet. Alrighty, so anyways, we have Bowser Jr. going off against Roy. Both have not made it into the final tournament. And for Bowser Jr. saying he better make it in this season, he needs to follow in his daddy's footsteps. Oh, Roy just grabbing the ticking time bomb. We have the Black Knight for Bowser Jr. Oh, damn. It's starting to look like the Ice Climbers victory one time against Ness. Kind of. I mean, they didn't get damaged. Bowser Jr. at least did a bit. Oh, and then there's just Lugia, too, Knuckle Joe, and the Black Knight. And then there's just Bloody Arceus right here. Oh, boy. Oh, this... Oh, boy. It's Orwark missed. Oh, but he still landed anyways. Ooh, and losing that final smash, too. But he is still closer. Oh, the Squid Sisters. Ooh, still alive. And Bowser Jr.'s is also automatic. Ooh, and then that final smash is just gone with Gary Fox in play, too. But with that, Bowser Jr. makes it into the next round. Congratulations, Bowser Jr. I'm sorry, Roy, but you have not made it into the final tournament. At least not yet. But it's getting pretty short now. I think this is for the 29th spot. I, it is the 29th spot, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we only have like three tournaments after. Anyways, we move on to Richter going up against Olmar. Let's see how this plays out. The thing is, if Olmar wins this, that means we're going to get someone new for the ultimate tournament. No matter who it is, whoever, no matter who wins. I mean, Richter's the only other returning champion in this uh, ter small tournament so far, but he also has bad recovery, especially on a stage where you can definitely easily fall off. We just have the Algon stage too, with Togepi in play as well. They're just playing on the bottom half of the stage. With the stage tilted. They just turned into the tilted towers right now. 
Hi, sorry for the cut. I got interrupted because I had to walk the dogs when I was doing something important. No, I'm just kind of pissed about that right now. I, I had to literally walk them right that instant, so I'm back. Let's get the rest of this going. So, both even right now. Olimar just died. And Richter is all. Oh. oh. Oh boy, Richter's definitely dead now. Oh, Omar tried to go up. Boss oh, smash, only doing a little bit of damage. Kevin Abra, too. Ooh, oh, I thought he landed it. What? Okay, well, that's interesting. So both missed, technically. Both slow mo. Big hit on Omar right there. Richard grabbing both assist trophies. Both not really the best. Cause Jeff did nothing, and this guy's obviously not doing a lot. Where did Marshadow come from? Do you recognize him getting like summoned or anything? Jeez, Olimar's already down to one stock. Looks like it might be Richter's. Even if he dies now, he'll still have. And Oshawa went the wrong way. Once again, useless Pokemon. And Richter's now down to two stocks, but still has the whole stock advantage right now. Start you in play. Oh, there's the Owens oh, Lunala again. Can he also land Final Smash now, Richter? Oh, I just read that Polk is, uh. And he lands land cross. This might be it for uh, Olimar. Yep. That Richter makes it into the final round. So he might still take that spot into the final tournament. So I'm sorry, Olimar, but maybe in another, maybe in the next few tournaments we have left. Now we have Falco going up against. Bowser Jr. Let's see who wins this. Uh. So I'm just trying to remember what is what right now. Um, Alright, so technically home, I guess home field advantage? I don't know if this really is home field advantage for uh, Bowser Jr., but who knows. Oh, so many Pokeballs being summoned. Oh boy. Falco's just doing a lot of damage to Bowser Jr. at the moment. Oh, and Falco's the first to lose the stock. Ooh, not looking good for Falco at the moment. But Falco does have the puppy. Okay, well. Falco just went directly towards us, the audience, and Bowser Jr. is now down to two stocks. And Falco's now down to one stock. 
It's like a whole portion of the battle was done and we can't see it because there was a giant puppy in the way. Somehow Obama Snow is just staying right on that uh, platform right there. Oh, both are very close. Buckle better get to Bowser Jr. fast or else Bowser Jr. is going to get his final smash. Oh! Planned that pretty perfectly. Oh, but Bowser Jr. is still alive. And there's his final smash. Fortunately, it was not enough to kill. And... Bowser Jr. is also down to one stock. It's even both. Ooh, Isaac. Both have very good uh, assist trophies on field right now. Could this be it? Ooh, Isaac still in play. Oh, not good for Bowser Jr. right now. Uh oh, uh oh, that Belo- oh, I thought the Belossum might have killed him. Oh, I think this is a game over for uh, Falco right now. Oh, Buckle's still hanging in there. Chef Kawasaki. And as Bowser Jr. is about to be in the pot, Falco dies and Bowser Jr. makes it into the next round. So I'm sorry, Falco, not this tournament, but maybe in another tournament, my friend. But now we are moving on to the final round. Both players have something in stake here. Bowser Jr. wants to enter the final tournament and make it into the champion's bracket with his pops. And Richter has to redeem himself after this season's been so far. So both are on the line right here. So we'll see what happens. Richter grabbed the bomb. I think this is the stage where Bowser won, too. Bowser Jr. grabbing the Lolan Raichu. Holy Water not doing anything. And Richter's now down to two stocks already. Oh, and now ba uh, Bowser Jr. is too, but he did grab that assist trophy beforehand. And Lugia too. And Rathalos, oh. Richter's just down, oh my god. Is Bowser Jr. about to enter the final tournament? Oh my god. Bowser Jr. just owns and makes it into the final tournament. He did something he couldn't do last season, but let's see if he can make it into the champion's bracket with his pops, because Bowser Jr. has taken the 29th spot of this final tournament. So surprisingly, Bowser Jr. is the winner of this tournament here, and makes it into the final tournament. But like I said before, Let's see if he hops into the final tournament with his pops. Because that's still a possibility, too. But with only three tournaments left, there's not that many spaces left, so... Everybody's gotta work hard. Bowser Jr. knew that, and so did the Ice Climbers last episode. So they knew. They know. It's down to the wire. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys like this video, press like button or subscribe to whatever. I'll see you dudes next video. See you dudes next time. Oh god, controls, controls!